Matt, welcome back to the site of the 1993 All-Star Game, Oriole Park at Camden Yards. We're discussing a number of issues, and I guess free agency, something that uh, Bobby and Barry have experienced, and Frank, down the road, something you'll have to think about. Uh, Barry, let me start with you on this. Just, I don't know, man. I mean, what can you say? It's, it's up to the owners. Well, Basically, they own it. It's their thing. All right, we'll be back with uh, Bobby Berry and Frank. We'll discuss role models and also uh, the proposed playoff format, what they think of that coming soon. We'll be back in a moment on the All-Star Roundtable. Don't go away. Classic here at Oriole Park at Camden Yards, and we're talking with some of the All-Stars who are performing in that. Now, next year, baseball has proposed a new playoff format with two teams making it from each division, actually a wild card team in the following year. Owners have proposed that. The Players Association still has to vote on that, but, but what do you think of a wild card team and an expanded playoff format? No. Nope. No, you don't like it? I like it just the way it is. Really? Yeah, two teams of each division and two teams of the other division, and then go head-to-head, -head and then the next team, you know, you go head-to-head -head in the World Series. I I don't I don't understand it. I don't like it like basketball or something. I think too many, yeah, that that's too many. Bobby, things. how about you? Well, I feel the same way. I think uh, I, I I believe that that's what makes baseball so special. That grind that uh, that we go through, and it's a, it's a special feeling. Sometimes, you know, the constellation is you don't get anything, but that to believe that you're there and you was one of the, we was part of that playoffs. How about, yeah, is Frank, you agree or you... I disagree. I would like to see okay. more teams in the playoffs because... Uh, he just wants to get to the playoffs. Most definitely. <laughs> in every other sport, there are a lot of teams in the playoffs. I think um, the team that runs away early, like the Giants right now, yeah. I mean, they could they could fall apart the second half. They could walk Barry Buns 200 times the second half. It's going and nothing happens, you know? So um, I just feel um, the top two teams should be invited to the playoffs and let them go at it because at the end of the year, you know, um, that the team on top is maybe not the best team that's playing so right now. How many games should we play? Um, yeah. yeah, you think that we'd have to I mean, we got to, you know, they can work that out. I think um, we'll be playing until January. That's true. They, they, they can shorten the season 150 games, 145 games, something like that. That's been discussed, at least the regular season before the playoffs. How about Charles Barkley says, uh, not a role model? Uh, with the amount of attention that you players are given, uh, the publicity and the exposure, do, do you think? Pass. You should be. Well, I think you got to understand where where Barkley's coming from. This is not a game show. <laughs> no, I'm serious. You got to realize he's trying to say, hey, right. don't don't put don't put your kid's responsibility on me. Okay. What happens is, I mean, once you, you got to raise them. Don't, let's not lose the fact that you got to you got to take the time with the kids and, and make sure that you you raise them right. I think that's what he's basically saying. That's the message that I Bobby okay. Benier received when he heard about it. All right, well, and how about their players' responsibility then just for their their own image? Uh, There's a responsibility there, but um, just like Bobby was saying, uh, we're not here to raise your kids, but uh, we got to keep a positive image going because uh, these kids really do look up to you, and you can look at the hotel today and see how, how the kids are lined up for hours trying to get an autograph. Um, you know, I love kids, so... I can deal with it a little better than most guys can. Yeah, you have a one-year-old baby. So, so you feel, though, you do have a certain responsibility to treat. Well, yeah, you do. But I think people don't see the whole picture. I think they, you know, everybody's taking part shots at Barkley, but they're not looking at the whole picture. Um, you know, if you want to lead by example, um, you pay money to go to a baseball game. And you pay your money for them people to entertain you. Well, your ticket doesn't say autographs. Your tickets don't say that we're role models. Your ticket doesn't say, your ticket just says, pay to see the show. Ball player. So, and then we're ball players. But I do think that we owe something to them and, and as an example for society because we are public property. We are national commodity or people or whatever you want to call it. But um, in a sense, I don't want, you know, it's like people that go through parental situations. Don't blame your parents for you going out to rob that store over there because your parents didn't have nothing to do with it. You did have made a mistake on your own. Don't blame a baseball player because they had a scuffle over that one incident when that kid accidentally, you know, had that accident right, with that right. child over there. Don't blame us for that. All right. And those are the words of Barry Bonds. We'll be back with uh, Bobby and Frank and Barry in just a moment. Don't go away. of All-Star Monday night here on ESPN. Chris Barman on the All-Star Gala, then the Home Run Derby. Bobby Bonilla, part of that. Upper Deck Heroes of Baseball and Sports Center follows. We thank Barry Bonds, Bobby Bonilla, and Frank Thomas for being with us. Enjoy yourselves in the second half. We'll enjoy watching you. I'm Chris Myers. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.